what the internet was. A bunch of dicks. Where am I? We're not friends, bitch. You were being racist to me and now it's like, oh, I'm racist, but <laughs> we're all people. No! Most of my DMs are either people being very supportive or occasionally racist. Real racist. I had a lady say something racist to me and she's like, you're a, and then I think she said something about welfare, food stamps, you know, there's the general racist things. And the only thing I responded back to her was asterisk and then the correct version of your that she should have been using. And then she responded with, oh, ha ha ha, I guess autocorrect isn't always correct. You're so funny, ha ha ha. And I was like, what the hell just happened? We're not friends, bitch. You were being racist to me and now it's like, oh, I'm racist, but <laughs> we're all people. No, get off my internet. One guy was just saying real wild stuff. Like, oh, I can tell by your name, you didn't grow up with a father. That's not true. I could have had any name but not growing up with that dude, so why are you trying to be like this? I took screenshots, posted it on my Facebook and my Twitter. My friends went to his profile, found out that he said that he was a weight trainer for the New York Giants, and then my friend messaged me and said, I'm pregnant and bored, I'm taking him down. And so she found an email to the New York Giants and started emailing them and then she got her friends to get on the bandwagon. So I had like 20 just pissed off white women emailing the New York Giants. And then I shared it on Twitter and some news reporter from like the New York Times started tweeting at ESPN and the New York Giants. And within like two hours, that guy made all of his stuff private. So I don't know if he got fired, but I know he figured out where the private button was. One thing I really was looking forward to is like a lot of my friends were like, oh my God, these guys are always sending me dick pics and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. And I'm like, send them to me, send them to me. I never get them. I don't know if people disrespect me. Maybe that's what it is. That these men out here in the world just respected me by not sending me pictures of their man parts. I thought that's what the internet was, a bunch of dicks. Where am I? Listen, if you were going to send me a picture of your male genitalia, what I would prefer is circumcised. I'm not out here with your turtleneck. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with that. I'm not a body mechanic. I don't know how these things work. Listen, if you're not circumcised, I get it. You weren't there when the, well, you weren't there. You didn't have a say in this decision. I guess I could learn to like them. But I do understand there is a flaw in my cunning dick pic plan is that like, when I go on Instagram, I look at like my followers, like 70% of my followers are women. And then the 30% that are men, I think 90% of them are gay men. So I don't know why a gay man would send me a picture of his dick. He doesn't want to give it to me. Oh, it wouldn't make any sense for him to do that, would it? All right, listen, gay men, if you got some sympathy dicks you can send over to me, maybe just a, hey girl, just to keep you going, just to keep the dream alive, maybe. Or, hey, I get it, that's not your preference. I don't need it, because I mean, <laughs> what are we gonna do with it? Or, ooh, got it. Okay, gay dudes, send me, oh, I could be my own grinder. All right, gay dudes, send me your dicks and then I'll send your dicks to other gay men in your area. And then I'm matchmaking or I'm pimping. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, they're not sending me money. Okay, I'm just here to match great dicks with great dicks is what I'm doing. Wait, then I'm not getting any dicks. This plan is flawed. This plan is flawed.